Hello, I'm at South Mountain State Park, North Carolina. It is early December 2019 and I'm about to get started on what is planned to be a three-day solo backpacking trip. This area is steeped with human history from the Catawba and Cherokee trade routes that used to run through this land to the discovery of gold and the subsequent gold rush to the culture of moonshining and finally today where South Mountains is the largest state park in North Carolina. This is my first visit here. I'm excited to get exploring. The forecast for today was a 20% chance of rain after 2 p.m. It's currently before 2 p.m. and it's been raining for like an hour now so we'll see how the rest of the day turns out but I'm ready to hit the trail. I've come to a pretty incredible rock face here along the trail. It's probably at least 50 feet high. High Shoals Falls is huge. About halfway up High Shoals Falls. It is definitely a high fall. It's a popular day hike area in South Mountain State Park. The top of High Shoals Falls. Made it to the top of High Shoal Falls. Quite the climb to get up, but a spectacular waterfall. I finished up the High Shoals Fall loop portion of my trip and I'm now along Upper Falls Trail and there's a nice view of this opposite ridge line up here along the trail. Home sweet home. I've made it to the Jacob Branch campsite area and they are scattered here around the edge of this small meadow. At the entrance to the campsite behind me there is a pit toilet and it also looks like there's some bear boxes there. So two nice surprises. I'm going to stay at site two tonight and here's a closer look at that spot. According to the park office a couple hours ago I should be the only person in the Jacobs Branch area tonight. But this place has me completely spoiled. There's a pit toilet, bear boxes, fire pit, 
and a picnic table. How awesome is that? The Catawba were the original inhabitants of the region where South Mountain State Park now sits and were estimated to once number 25,000 strong. But by the time gold was discovered in 1828, only a hundred or so Catawba remained. The gold rush in this area was short-lived, but around a hundred years later, another rush swept into the South Mountains, bootlegging. The rugged hills and remote hollers of this land were the perfect location to hide illegal steals. On this trip, I'm using the South Mountains State Park map, available from the park office or the park website. Let's take a look at the map for day one. I started today at the parking area and got on the High Shoals Falls Loop, past the falls, joined the Upper Falls Trail, followed that along the ridge lines to the intersection with the Jacob Branch Campsites area, and made my way down to the camp. Today was around four miles. Day one of my trip in South Mountain State Park has been a great day. High Shoals Falls was very impressive. There were a surprising amount of nice views along the Upper Falls Trail on the ridge line looking out on both directions. And I have a really great campsite here at Jacob's Branch. I've got camp set up for the most part um, preparing a little bit of firewood to have a nice fire tonight. And that's going to be it for the rest of the evening for me. Day two and day three will be fairly short mileage days as well. I'm not looking to do a ton of miles on this trip. I'll, I'll have some nice campsites, I hope, and, and get to hang out. But I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of day one. Good night. South Mountains State Park, established in 1975, is North Carolina's largest state park at 20,871 acres. Good morning. Made it to day two on my backpacking trip here in South Mountains State Park, North Carolina. I had a nice relaxing evening by the fire last night. A good night overall. Not too chilly, probably about mid 30s or so is what it was expected to be. I'm really enjoying the luxury of this picnic table. I've got my gear spread out all over it. And another luxury that I caught out yesterday was the pit toilet. And actually, they had toilet paper stocked inside the pit toilet. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that in the backcountry. Um, so this place is just full of luxuries. Today, I have a fairly short mileage day again, maybe only about six miles in total to get to the Sawtooth campsites area. But I'll have a couple good ridgeline views along the way, um, at least as expected to. So I'm excited for that because there were some nice ones yesterday as well that I really enjoyed. I finished up my part of the journey on the Upper Falls Trail. I'm about a mile or a mile and a half into my day today. And now I'm now on the lower CCC trail. And this trail is pretty cool because it was built almost 100 years ago in the 1930s by the CCC camp located in nearby Enola, North Carolina. And some more good ridgeline views through the trees. A decent view through the trees here along the Horse Ridge Trail. It's a beautiful day today. Glad to be out here. There is a convenient little bench here on the Horse Ridge Trail. Don't mind if I do take a seat for lunch. And there's also some heavy machinery down there. Not something you see every day. 
back on the road after lunchtime and there's a little bird's nest right here that must have fallen out of a tree. Here's my hand for scale. Pretty cool to see. Finished up Horseback Ridge Trail. Now on Sawtooth Trail. And lots of pretty sweet views out here. This is probably the clearest view of the trip so far. Really beautiful. And I'm still along Sawtooth Trail. Home sweet home. I've made it to the Sawtooth campsites area. Looks like I will have both a picnic table and a privy once again. Absolutely spoiled out here at South Mountain State Park. The water source for the Sawtooth campsites is a good half mile away from the campsites, but there's a beautiful little rock slide stream down here. Definitely worth the walk. I'm at campsite one tonight, which has a nice fire ring, a picnic table, which I love, and a nice little spot for my hammock back there. I'll get the tarp set up here before dark. Another beautiful site in South Mountains State Park. If there's a clear sky tonight, might get some awesome stars out in the meadow. The foundation for South Mountains State Park was laid in the 1930s when the Civilian Conservation Corps began building trails and making improvements in the area. Let's take a look at the map for day two. I started today at the Jacob Branch campsites, linked up with the Upper Falls Trail, took that to the Lower CCC Trail, hooked up with the Horse Ridge Trail, and all through this area is great ridgeline hiking with, with views during the winter time. Continued along the Horse Ridge Trail until I linked up with Sawtooth Trail, followed that to the Split, and then up to the Sawtooth campsites. Today was about six miles. Day two of my backpacking trip has been another great day. I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of views out along the ridgeline hiking that I did. I mean, probably at least 75% of the day I could see out to the left or see out to the right or see out to both sides at once. So I really enjoyed that. Nice, easy day, uh, only about six miles or so. Gave me plenty of time to get to camp. I've got camp set up. I've got my firewood partially prepared. I grabbed some water. Probably got about 30 minutes or so of good daylight left. I'll cook up some dinner and then get a fire going for the evening. If it's a clear night out here, which I think it was supposed to be, um, I'm excited to see if, if some stars will pop out for me. Other than that, I'm looking forward to the last night of my trip. Good night. Good morning. Made it to day three of my trip here in South Mountain State Park North Carolina. I had a good relaxing evening and night at the end of day two. Temperatures probably dropped down to right above freezing. Doesn't look like it got too freezing, at least not for any extended period of time. And the sun comes up very nicely at this campsite in the morning, so it's been some nice warming rays coming over me. I've honestly been very impressed with the campsites here at South Mountains. A lot of amenities, the pit toilets, the picnic tables. Boy, I tell you what, those picnic tables are a huge luxury. I really enjoy having them. I only have a couple miles out today, but it'll take me to the Chestnut Knob Overlook, 
which should be one of the best views in the park, so I'm excited for that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some breakfast here, get camp packed up, and then get ready to hit the trail. Let's take a look at the map for day three. I'll start today at the Sawtooth campsites. Backtrack along the Sawtooth Trail, link up with the Chestnut Knob Trail, hit the overlook, backtrack again, and then follow the trail back down to the parking area where my car is at. Today should be about three and a half miles. Made it up to Chestnut Knob Overlook. A beautiful view on this beautiful day. Down there in the valley is a river running through it. I believe that's Jacob Branch or Jacob Fork. And awesome clear view. This is the Jacob Fork River Gorge Overlook. And it gives a great view into how steep this land is. Coming into the center of the screen, I believe that's High Shoals Falls out there. Pretty cool to see it from another angle. And there's a little bit of a closer look at what I believe is probably High Shoals Falls. I've made it to the end of my three-day solo backpacking trip in South Mountain State Park. It exceeded my expectations. I would rate it as a prime winter backpacking destination in North Carolina. With the leaves down, I had solid ridgeline views for probably like 75% of the trip, which, which was a nice surprise. There was also several great overlooks along the way. And then of course High Shoals Falls, which was a pretty spectacular waterfall. The campsites were extremely well put together as well. Lots of amenities available, pit toilet, picnic tables, I enjoyed that. All in all, it was a great trip. I'm at the amphitheater right now, about a tenth of a mile from the parking lot. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of this trip and get headed towards home.